I heard a story of a baboon who abducted a human child from a house to replace her own dead baby. Baboons really grieve when they lose their children and they don't bury them. They just kind of carry them around until they're like shreds of flesh. Like they, they really are affected by it. And she was willing to substitute a human baby just so that she could nurture. And in the middle of the night, I just thought, yeah, that's what I'd do too if, if I lost my child. I'd do exactly the same thing. I just, like the impulse to care um, at four in the morning is really strong. I just felt a real affinity with baboons. And I just thought, yeah, that's one barrier between me and another species that has just come crashing down. The other thing that happened was that I had difficulty breastfeeding my child. So my sister said, why don't you breastfeed my son who's six months older than my son? And, and I initially thought, no, I can't do that. But actually I did. And this child, my nephew, taught me how to breastfeed. And I just thought, yeah, this is another barrier that's come crashing down. This kind of blood barrier, this and I just thought all these barriers were coming down around me. Um, and I just felt, I'm going to make a work about a baboon that's breastfeeding a human baby. Breastfeeding isn't represented in art. I mean, you've got Romulus and Remus and you've got the Madonna and Child. But on the whole, it's just missing. It's unrepresented. And when it is, it's like really weird. I'm always on the lookout for it. So I wanted to make a work about breastfeeding because it is something that's really important to our formation and our nurture. And in this work, I wanted it to be really positive and strong. There's quite a lot of ambiguity around what the baboon mother is doing. Maybe she's stolen the baby and she's taking it away and they're off together. Or maybe she's just there sort of doing her job and the parents just aren't around. I use creatures that are almost mythological in that we kind of recognize them or parts of them, but we're not familiar with them because I think that it's easier to identify with them. And in fact, that's what mythologies and religion and the, all these stories have always held for us, a way to connect to difficult ideas that are otherwise overwhelming in a way that's really meaningful and real and embodied.